review of two of the iPhone 15 Pro kickstand cases. Now going back two years, I really liked uh, these kickstand cases. It was the first time I bought a kickstand case. You're doing a lot of video calls or if you wanted to watch. This case was the ESR metal kickstand. I believe they do one for the iPhone 15 Pro as well. Now the case was really good in terms of its kickstand functionality and the protection it gave to the phone, but there were a few issues with this. It has this bump in the back. So where the, the kickstand hinges, it, it comes out of the case. It wasn't a MagSafe case. There was issues with wireless charging. So a lot of times I have to make sure it's got the right alignment. The other issue is that it's, as you can see, it's not very transparent anymore. And that's obviously an issue with a lot of transparent cases where they you get this yellowing. Another issue with this case was that kind of a little bit flexible. Um, and that was to its detriment because at times when you drop the phone, when it hits, it, it had the tendency that it could actually come out of the case. Here we have the new two contenders. These were the two that I thought fit best both in terms of, of style and functionality. So one is the Torres U-Pro, um, that's one, it's this one here. Um, the Torres U-Pro case, I think it's online called the P-Stand Mag Series case. Uh, this one's in black, retails the point when I bought it at 28.99 pounds. Both of them are MagSafe compatible. They have some sort of magnets that allow for better MagSafe alignment. They both have the kickstand Aurora's case. Uh, pretty easy to put the, the phone in and get it snapped into position. So fairly easy. It fits really well. It doesn't feel like there is any give. Or, gives me a little bit more confidence that if it falls, it's not going to slip out of the case and, and damage the phone. It has a bit of a lip on the top so you get some screen protection. At the, at the back, the ring around the magnet helps with the alignment of the a MagSafe charger. Bottom, it has the, the cutouts, so they all line up pretty well. You've got the power button here, volume button, and the, the new action button. They all click pretty well, they have good feedback. They're not overly hard to press, but also they're not super sensitive. So now at the back, for the camera, it does have a little bit of a bump, so you get some good camera protection. At the bottom, star of the show, the kickstand. They have a little ridge here, which gives you some leeway to, to get under the hinge to flick it open. What I really like is also they've got a little bit of an angle here. So when you when you pull this up, it, it doesn't just flick straight. It, it goes at a slight angle. That can be neat because you get a bit more of an angle when you put the phone straight up. And that's quite nice when you're doing calls. In reality, it, it's not a, a huge difference, but it's a Nice, thoughtful design element. You can put it down and sideways. It's pretty stable. You're putting it straight up as well as on the side. So great for video calling, both on, on landscape as well as in portrait. The hinge can be in multiple positions. So as you're putting it down and you're watching a movie or a video and you want to put it in a slightly more acute angle, you can do that. So there's not a huge room for, for the angles but the hinge it seems pretty stable where you can have a, a few different positions to angle it. The hinge also feels very solid. It's, it's a metal hinge, clicks in really well, pretty easy to bring it out. Overall, feels like a very solid, nice case. And it doesn't add too much bulk on the sides. It, does, it feels pretty tight to the phone itself. It isn't obviously the slimmest case, but given that it's got the, the kickstand and all the protection, a really good form factor. One thing I do really like about both of these cases, uh, so it's not unique to the Taurus one, is compared to my old phone, it's now a complete flat design. If you wanted to put a, a magnetic wallet, a MagSafe wallet, or just even putting the phone to charge, it's just a lot more easier and just has a better feel. So you don't have this, this bump at the back of the, the phone where the, the kickstand comes in. The Snake Hive Metro case here again to get it in. Fairly straightforward affair. 
There we go. Fits very snug. Feels very tight. Now there is a slight uh, difference in terms of its shape. So immediately what you feel is there's a bit of a, a curvature designs on the sides. The frame is a little bit more curved so compared to a bit more of the, the sharp edge design here. And it's not super sharp, but more curvature on, on the snake hut case. The top, uh, it does have a little bit of a bump over the edge. It doesn't seem as much as the one from Taurus, but actually it's just the right amount. Just enough that, you know, you've got some protection over the, the screen. And again, it's tight, so if it falls, it feels pretty secure in there. It doesn't feel like it's just gonna come out of the case and fall out. It has the cutouts at the back of the volume, the power, the, power, the volume buttons, and the, the action button all feel very clickable. I have to say, I think the travel on the the keys with the Taurus was a little bit better. These feel a little bit firmer, but it's marginal. At the back, it has a slightly different look. It has the leather look. Um, now I really like it. The, the camera still has that bump, but you can see again, the bump's a bit more tighter. It's not a huge amount of protraction over the lenses, but enough to give it that protection if you were to drop it. This is pretty personal, which look you like. I mean, I do like the, the leather look here. And then at the bottom, they've got the kickstand flush with the body. So there is no raised bumping for it. So again, putting any MagSafe accessories at the back of this or to put it on the charger, no issues. The kickstand, however, what I do find is that it, it's very flush. You can see it sits very tight to the leather. It would be nice if they either just gave a little bit of a space between the edge and the actual kickstand, similar to how they had it in the Taurus, or just have a little bit of a, a cutout here in the leather itself, and have the leather pull back a little bit. Now, now, one thing I imagine is maybe over time as I push this out, it it's probably gonna help the leather kind of dent there anyway. So there might be a natural recession to the leather to make that, you know, pulling out the kickstand easier. But saying that, once you get the kickstand out, it's great. I actually thought initially that the Torres with the angle, I kind of missed that because this is just a straight pull out. I thought that might be an issue. There, there does, there's a little magnet. So it acts soft magnet, not a strong magnet because otherwise you would have a problem trying to pull it out but it just kind of gives a little nice snap at the end. But yeah, when you take it out, actually it's got a pretty good wide angle view on the videos. So it's, you don't really get cut out. So the pretty good functionality in terms of you know, video calls or watching movies, yeah. portrait or landscape. Um, and again, you have the ability to set it at, at different angles. Move that along and then set it to whatever angle feels more comfortable. Now it does feel like this case does go a little bit at a lower angle. So if we compare the two, you can see the angle on the snake hive is a bit more than the Taurus. You know, that can be can be nice when you're, if you're sitting in a plane where the seats are tight and you need to get a, a better angle for the viewing, that's definitely nice to have. Putting that kickstand side by side, just to see again, because the Taurus has that angled cutout, it's more of an angle when it's in portrait mode. But as I said, the portrait mode with the video call actually doesn't make that much of a difference just because the camera actually is quite wide. So unless you're, you know, putting it down and having your face right next to it, it didn't seem to really be an issue. Overall, yeah, nice design from, from both of the cases. I like both of them. Both the cases are really tight in terms of dimensions of the width, because that's one of the things that didn't want a case that was going to make the phone too wide or feel kind of wobbly around the edges. Neither of them do that. The dimensions, they're pretty much identical in terms of the width and just as much buffer on the, the edges. The slight difference I did find is the feel when you're holding the phone. So the, the material here on the snake hive is a little bit more velvety. So it's like a, a little bit like a soft feeling plastic, not like silicon, but just has a little bit more of a velvet feel. Whereas on the, the Torres, it's a bit more like a plastic feel. It feels more like a soft plastic. The feel of it, maybe personal preference, but I do side on the Hive on this one. Uh, the other thing I like about the Snake Hive is this, this rounded edge design. 
So it, it almost makes it a bit more comfortable to hold and kind of an illusion that it's thinner when compared to the, the Torres, just because it has a bit more of that sharp rectangular edge design. Uh, the snake hive just feels more comfortable in hand for me than the Torres. But again, neither of them are not comfortable. I mean, if you just had this one, totally comfortable to hold, great grip on it. Same with the snake hive, really good grip on the edges, Don't really leave any finger marks either on either of them. But personally, I just find the, the snake hive just a little bit better in terms of that curvature to give a better feel in the hand. On the kickstand, yeah, the, the, the Taurus has the slightly better design in terms of the pull out functionality makes it a little bit easier and snappier to push in and out. For the pullout, Snake Hive can be a little bit fiddly, but in terms of the angle, I, I like the fact that it bends more down. It can help um, in that viewing angle. It's pretty discreet and solid. So yeah, I would kind of say that it's a tie. I would say the, the Snake Hive one is a little bit more discreet and neat, but it's just the fiddliness of trying to get that open. It's just not as, easy and you know just instant as um, the Taurus but I'm hoping that you know over time nudge a little bit uh, and make it easier to pull the stand out. Now when it comes to the the, the MagSafe capability I've got a anchor stand here which has the MagSafe magnet at the top and I have to say it it grips pretty well so yeah it it works it yeah and they both do. I mean, either of them is more magnetic than the other, so I wouldn't say that's really a deciding factor. What I did find is at times I've got a MagSafe charger on the side of my bed, and sometimes it would charge it, um, but there's been times at night I've put it on there. It magnetically aligns, but didn't charge the phone. So I'm not sure you know what exactly the issue is, but it happened with both the cases. So it wasn't one case is more prone to that with the other. I've got a, a MagSafe charger for the, the Apple Watch and the phone. You can see here if I you know, put that, it, it aligns. Now, it, it's not super snappy, but yeah, it, it finds it and it charges. So both of the cases, they, they retail for pretty much the same price. There's a, a key difference between you know, whether you like the leather look or the, the plastic see-through look of the, the Torres. Uh, but for the, the slight better slim design, uh, the angle on the kickstand that you get when it's on in landscape mode and the leather back look, which I personally prefer, for me it's the, the Snake Hive. But both very, uh, very good cases, very well built, very well thought of in their, their design. But there you go, that's the comparison of the two cases.